That bill to protect journalists matters arising. It's worrisome times for the journalism profession in Nigeria nowadays. In two weeks, two journalists have been kidnapped in Abuja and Port Harcourt. This is deliberate targeting, which is a grave development. I've seen a mild campaign by individual journalists to correct the notion that journalists are rich people. Now here's my appeal. Journalists are regular people like everyone, the majority of whom are barely getting their monthly salaries. Stop kidnapping journalists. So today I look at the reports by Benneth Joshua of the Daily Independent newspaper on the bill on the protection of journalists being debated in the House of Representatives. Otsa Agbo, a lawmaker in the House of Representatives from Benue, said, and I quote, most people feel that once you are jobless and you can afford a jota, a pen, and a midget to record voices, you can automatically apply the profession of journalism. And such people go about blackmailing people, especially public servants, as well as assaulting democracy and its sacred institutions. He has therefore sponsored a bill, the Press Council Amendments Bill, which enters second reading upon debate as the National Assembly resumed plenary. The bill has three main purposes, to protect journalists against non-payment of salaries, to seek minimum academic qualification for journalists, and to get stiffer penalty for quirks. Now this comes with mixed feelings for me, as a journalist, that the House of Representatives will debate on how to improve the welfare of media professionals, sanitize the media in Nigeria, and protect journalists against non-payment of salaries is noteworthy. But they will also define who a journalist is and raise the minimum qualification for journalism practice and stipulate stiffer punishment for quirks. Interesting times are here. The sponsor of the bill, as I said earlier, is the Chairman House Committee on Narcotics, Drugs, Otagbo, representing um, Ado Ogbadigbo, Poko Federal Constituency of Benue State. He took a swipe as regulatory bodies in journalism by stating, and I quote, regulatory bodies like the Press Council, NUJ, Guild of Editors, Newspaper Proprietors Association, at best can only bark without biting. This has prompted some critical thinkers to now say, journalism is not a profession, but a mere trade, really. The lawmaker also stated that in Nigeria, journalism is the only profession assigned specific responsibility of holding government to account based on section 22 of the 1999 constitution. Yet, it is the most bastardized, a free-for-all profession with no clear qualification guidelines. And that's so true. And this is a second indictment on the regulatory bodies. He says, and I quote again, less noble professions are well regulated and respected. So why should journalism, the profession beyond compare, remain an all comers affair in this century? Now that is a third indictment on regulatory bodies. I find it curious that the legislature, to use the words of the lawmaker, wants to redefine and refine the media industry so that they can strengthen democracy. The question is, what precisely are the functions of the NUJ, Nowatch, Guild of Editors, Newspaper Proprietors Association? I don't understand. Um, I feel that's... very offended. I feel very <laughs> offended. No, no, mm -hmm. see. How many see, years read me. journalism? It's an no. art. It's a science. The science no. of journalism is different. <laughs> no, see, let me tell you. Um, the the um, lawmaker is on a journey to nowhere. <laughs> I'm telling you frankly. He's on a journey to nowhere. Do you know why? The world is dynamic. The earlier we embrace the dynamism, the better for all of us. Even media practitioners these days would rather, even journalism, they employ you, just take you through a few tips of it. They don't want, there are areas they want you to play in. We agree there are different taxonomies of journalism and you know, all of those things. But there are areas they just want you to play in and they train you in that area and boom, you are good to go. 
So quickly, secondly also, the idea of social media has come to stay. Even the media houses recognize the fact that there's this, what you call the eye reporter, the eyewitness reporter. And so... Which is citizen journalism. Yes, citizen journalism. Thank God you used the word citizen it's journalism. It's citizen journalism, yeah. So when lawmakers sit down, even the laws that we have already, how well have we... Have, have you strengthened the institutions to be able to enforce those laws? That's the place we should start from. And Thank not you. making new laws and then blaming regulatory it's bodies as if they don't know what they are doing. How well have you provided institutions to enable them to strengthen it? Nothing. Then you make another law, you pride yourself as, yes, I introduced a bill in the you house. You just don't want to sit in the house and just be collecting 15 million per month now. You have to share do something. Because journalism has always been an all-commerce affair. Mm -hmm. We, we have uh, legal affairs in journalism. You have... Um, Environment. You yeah. have airports. Entertainment. You have uh, Entertainment. medical. Yes. Every Everything. area of life. Yes. You know, and you it's want correct. experts in those areas, you know, to be the ones to present. So we have always had... And social media, aside from being... Uh, making everyone with a smartphone now a journalist, journalist. is the fact that a we're, reporter, we're, not a journalist. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a reporter. Yeah, a reporter. I, 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 I a reporter, yeah, not exactly. a journalist. No, so it means that you don't even need a media house to publish yourself <laughs> now. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So you, know? you are a reporter. You are not a journalist. So we mix it up. You're you know? a blogger. You're, You're not a, a reporter. Exactly. Somebody comes and says, "I am an OAP. I'm not a journalist." But I'm an OAP. What's the meaning of that? An on air personality. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. No, but it's, you know that's also possible. Yes. No, okay. It's acceptable. Yes, because it's, it's possible. I, it was an American yes, coinage. You're, 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 you're it was an American personality and then you're it was, radio. It was an American coinage to no, distinguish. Was, wait, no, no, let's hear him out. Let's it was an American out. coinage to distinguish the on air personality from the journalist. Journalist, radio okay. presenters. So, yeah. and um, you are a presenter, you are not a journalist, but. You know, there's need for you to have a name. How do we describe this person? Yeah. Who but is not a journalist. Who is not a journalist, yeah. but is presenting, presenting a yes. program. You know, just the same way we say you are reporting, you are an eye reporter, but you are not a journalist. journalist. There are people, you don't expect me now because I, I, I appear on programs and then I say I want to go and join the guild of editors or oh. uh, journalism and all of those things. Guild of because they. I, they, they will not accept me because yeah, there are, you don't have the there are qualifications True. I must pass, pass through. through. True. So that doesn't mean that they don't know what they are doing. They understand the dynamics of the profession. Yeah. And so if you cannot, by, by law, fiat. say I want to, by fiat, regulate everybody. There are some lawyers who will say, look, I'm okay by reading law. I don't want to practice. practice. All I just need is the knowledge of it to do my journalism work. Yes, exactly. So it is when they now want to practice that the body of MBA and the body of benchers will say, okay, there are positions that you must go through. So Thanks, Dave. You, you've, you've capped it. You know. Chuka, let's hear from you. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Let's go to Chuka okay. in London. Okay. Chuka. Are you, are you a pointless <laughs> governor? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think that um, there will always be um, a big problem with this whole journalism and everyone trying to be a quack journalist and all that. Um, social media is here to stay. So I think what it is that journalists really have to reinvent themselves yes. because they must have within their training what they could do to move to the next level and leave us behind as the pseudo journalists. That we are. Okay, but then for me quickly, let me quickly say something. Uh, another thing, he said something about... Um, um, no, 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 I wanted to say that, but because of time, um, it's also very important that um, um, organizations, when you employ journalists, be for the print and all that, please, their welfare is important. As true. far as I'm concerned, that's true. It's important. Hit it on the head. Yes. Tell let them, them. Let them. Let them. Let them. There, 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 there is. Uh, I know a few of them, and then anytime they see me, ah, eh, eh, Bauni, eh, eh, your one confirmed brother, one confirmed senior brother. And then I just keep asking myself, one call for senior brother, one call for senior brother. For, it's yeah, actually criminal yeah, for you the, to employ anyone and not give yes. them. Yes. Yeah. So I nice. think just like just like um, Barrister Shoma said, 
the other laws that we have, they should do something Start about it. Implement them. Do yes. implement those ones. Let us know that you are paying them their salaries. You are paying them their pension. You are paying them everything due. And the, some of these attitudes will definitely stop. And also, um, don't also forget political in some of these things that we yeah, do. Yes, yes, don't yes. Don't forget the political angle. Yo, you mean Just brown like envelope is stop? No, no, brown envelope. Will, I don't want to say we will not stop, but I've done hand like this, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but quickly, quickly. Okay, there is a case and then you need to report it. And then you get instruction from above and says, no, don't report it. That's our client. Or that's or guard it up. Mm. Don't mention it and all that. And then they, they share your brand envelope. Case closed. That's How it. do you want me to report? How do and you then, want me to work? And then the man who is on the social media now comes on comes and, media and reports it. And reports it. And you say, no, no, no. No, you and are not like, a journalist. You, you should not report it. The law it. says man. you are not a journalist. The man didn't call himself call no, himself a journalist. So, he just please. said he was reporting. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we thank you for your attention while the program lasted. We hope that our conversations resonated with you and that in some small way encouraged you to contribute to your immediate environment. Little drops of water, they say, makes a mighty ocean. Don't forget the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, you can go to plustvafrica.com slash theadvocatingg. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time, on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you next time. Bye-bye. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.